How's it going guys? Welcome back to Upstate Angling and today we are reviewing the Mott Crush. This is just going to be a short review. Um, this is a very popular combo and actually they did come out with a new one but uh, I have the old one and you can still find the old one and the new one but um, they have the same specs. So in this video we're going to talk about the specs, the price, my experience with it and uh, my final thoughts on the combo. So pretty much uh, this combo we're going to go over some specs. Uh, the real 7.5 to 1, um, the rod, I got this, that they sell on a 7 foot um, medium heavy and, or a 7.3 heavy. This is the 7.3 heavy, I use this as my frogging rod. So this rod is actually um, super sensitive. The reel is awesome, the reel is very smooth. Um, the reel comes in at 160 um, or you can buy the combo for 200. I got the combo for 190. Um, so I paid pretty much $30 for this rod. Um, and the rod is super sensitive. So this is really my frogging um, rod. Um, and I use this reel for any moving base. So I don't really use the combo together, but uh, both components to the combo are really good. So the rod, uh, it's it says uh, the lure weight is three eighths of an ounce up to one and a half ounces. And uh, uh, seven three heavy, fast taper. Um, I don't know how good you guys can see that, but it's the Mott Crush. Um, Really nice combo, like I said, about 200 bucks. So for the reel, uh, in case anybody uh, wants to know, there is an audible um, star drag, and the tension knob is audible too. The reel has, uh, I'm pretty sure it has nine plus one ball bearings, and if you open it up um, on the inside, and if you open up, um, as you can see, I'll just pull the spool out. It does have centrifugal braking on it. Uh, it's got set, Four centrifugal brakes um, and it's also got uh, some magnetic brakes on the outside of the reel so a uh, very good braking system to this reel um, I will say that and it is it is a very smooth reel um, like I said it's got it's got ten bearings in it uh, it's just a smooth reel I like the grips on it it's got big wind grips um, and it, they're just comfortable it's a very small reel it's actually the smallest reel that I own um, very low profile, fits in your hand really good. So the reel does have um, a graphite frame, which is not the best, and that's why I don't use it for frogging because really when you when it comes down to frogging, uh, you you want an aluminum frame. So that doesn't really um, that that is kind of uh, a flaw in my opinion that it doesn't have an aluminum frame, especially for the price. But I just use this reel. This reel's got an aluminum frame, so uh, I use this reel for frogging. So for the rod, the rod has. Uh, the rod has a bait keeper right there, um, and the rod is fairly light for being a 7.3 and a heavy. Um, it's fairly light. It's got the micro guides on it, and it's got the American Airwave um, technology um, for the first eyelet. So there are micro guides, um, 10 plus 1 guides on the 7.3 rod. So, uh, and on the rod there is wind grips too. So very comfortable rod and reel combo together. This, uh, this is very comfortable. Uh, and honestly, my first when I got it last year, uh, I remember I took it out to the water the day I got it, and I caught my PB. My PB still stands at six pounds four ounces, and my that was my first ever fish on this combo was six pounds four ounces, and my second ever fish was actually a four pounder. So I really like this combo, um, and I'm not using it as a combo like I said this summer, but it's just it's a very nice combo. So my experience with it, I've never had any issues at all. Um, like I, I just keep it clean, I keep it greased up well. It's just been a great combo, and honestly, um, this is super worth it. I mean, there's I haven't found a single really uh, problem. I've not, not had a single problem with this combo. Um, this is just, this is great. I do recommend, uh, if you are looking for maybe a little bit of a starter setup, um, this, is, this is great. So this is just a sweet combo. Uh, I do recommend this to you. Link will be in the description uh, if you do want to get this combo. Uh, it's kind of hard to find, but uh, you can find the old model, but you can also find the new model. I'm assuming the new model um, pretty much the same, but uh, I'm, I can't really say that because I've never held it. But I know for the old model, it is a great combo, definitely worth it. You guys should go pick it up if you're looking for maybe a frogging rod or uh, if you want to get the seven foot medium heavy all around combo. Uh, this is just, this is a great option. So that's it for today's video, just a short little review video, figured I'd bring you guys on here 
uh, just just to say what my thoughts on this are because I know there's a lot of people out there that kind of wonder about this combo so uh, I know there's a lot of reviews out there but I figured I'd give you guys my personal opinion on it $190 well spent on this combo it's, it's one of my favorite reels and also one of my favorite rods so uh, this is just a great combo highly recommend to you guys but that's gonna do it make sure you guys like if you like the reviews um, there are more coming onto the channel and uh, we're very close uh, we're we're seriously like two weeks within bass fishing um, two or three weeks within bass fishing so uh, we're close gonna finally get out to the water pretty soon so uh, this this will be one of the last sit down videos um, until next winter so make sure you guys comment some video ideas down below for maybe the summer the spring or even just uh, more sit down videos that we can do but that's gonna do it thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys on the next one